All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here for some more Dragon Ball Sparking Zero gameplay, and today we have a special one because it's all about Goku. Starting things off with the Vegeta matchup as well, something that we always like to see. Unique dialogue right there. I've skimmed through the video already, and we have Goku gameplay of mid, Z end, and his super counterparts, all with their respective transformations. Massive thanks to Maru Haki for compiling all the Goku clips into one. I'll be sure to have them linked down below in the description. Mind you that this is direct feed capture, meaning we have the original sound design and audio in the background. So if you want to witness the original video without me yapping, then once again, feel free to support Maru Haki. Tons of exclusive Sparking Zero gameplay over there up on his channel. Start things off with the Blast 2 Super Attack times 20 Kaoken Kamehameha. They actually, here it is once again, but they updated this technique several times. Did you see the facial animation at the start of the attack right there? Top tier. And in regards to the Kaoken color hue, once again, yo, he really wants to land it. Hey, we got it, we got it. So the Kaoken, of course, emits the red hue over the character model. Uh, but during the first Sparking Zero demo, it was extremely dark red. They definitely toned that down a bit, so that's something uh, I think is extremely cool. And I believe he used Give Me Your Energy. We can use that up to three different times to, of course, increase the damage of the Super Spirit Bomb, which is right here. Nice. So, something interesting I just noticed. You guys saw how Vegeta swapped over to Blue Vegeta? <laughs> he still got hit either way. But I think whenever the opponent does that or whenever you switch to your teammate, you teleport over to the spawn points. I think that's why Goku kind of deactivated from the opponent there. Hey, look at that! Battle damage Blue Vegeta over there. Let's hope that he activates the Blast 1 power-up. Limits I break them, which is of course his Blue Evolution transformation. Just because it would be extremely accurate to the anime, Terminal Power. When he went up against Hakaishin Topo. And I'm hoping to get that Hakaishin Topo announcement soon. Oh, oh, he just whiffed the Meteor Smash Super Attack. So something interesting in regards to his Super Attack. Perfect timing. Uh, he just activated the Now I'm Angry Blast 1 power-up, and here we got the Meteor Smash. So, in BT3, uh, that was actually called Now I'm Mad instead of Now I'm Angry. But when he activates Now I'm Mad, uh, he says Now I'm Angry. <laughs> I don't know why they decided to name change that, but for uh, the skills themselves, every single Super Blast 1, and Blast 2, and Ultimate Attacks are the same. Of course, the animations are going to be slightly different, like the angry Kamamaha right there. How it starts off blue, and then we get the orange color hue over the energy wave. Now we have End Goku. This is more of a demonstration in terms of the supers and ultimates, right? Not necessarily in terms of crazy uh, combo strings, stuff of that nature. I like how they kept the same energy for Super Goku, right? His base form, how he can utilize the Spirit Bomb and then transforms into Super Saiyan Blue. And then on top of that, Blue Kao Ken. Same type of energy. You waiting, huh? In terms of his skill set as well, something similar to Mid Goku where it's just one single name change for one of the attacks. Now it's called Saiyan Spirit instead of Saiyan Soul. You know, just different synonyms here and there, I'm assuming. Bang Bang Crash! All right, let's see if we can get some of that crazy ultimate here. Ooh, nice power up by Summer Perfect Cell over there, or second form. Um, I don't think I've seen that one before. Did you see the crazy electricity effect? <laughs> Trying to keep things as anime accurate as possible. I mean, obviously it was up against Perfect Cell, but this is close enough. <laughs> Transforming into Super Saiyan. Ooh, an underrated form, if I do say so myself. A very, very cool animation there. Um, oh yeah, I forgot about that. So we just saw the ultimate variation of instant transmission coming off for Super Saiyan One, but for Super Saiyan Two, it transfers over to a Blast Two Super Attack. Attention to detail, man, with the 50 multiplier, or I, I believe 100 times multiplier, whatever it may be. But I like how. Uh, the previous form's ultimates are now their ascended form super attacks, right? And this Meteor Crash! Top tier! So, of course, like what I mentioned, 
before, not every single character is going to be getting a revamp in terms of their skill set. Maybe some slight name change here and there. Uh, but some of the characters will be getting brand new super attacks. Like Meteor Smash, what we just saw. Of course, that's the attack he used against Kid Boo, And that's just like one of the coolest animations. Speaking of animations, we have the Super Kamehameha. There's plethora of different variations of that attack in the game. None of them share the same animation, which is just absolutely crazy. So Super Saiyan 3 Goku over here is another case of a cutscene getting multiple different updates. Uh, oh, so we have this cut over here. Yeah, he destroyed the opponent, so now we're just starting uh, things off as base 3 Goku over here, right? But the character model uh, during the animation, you can tell it's a bit more bulkier. You know, the skeleton structure, whatever you want to call it. It's just for that cutscene. And then when it goes back to the gameplay over here, it's still revamped and updated from the very first Sparking Zero demos. Don't get me wrong, but it doesn't look as good as the uh, Super Saiyan 3 transformation. See, just going based off of the uh, facial structure there. Uh, but what is this? Oh, Super Dragon Twin Fist! Yeah! It's point blank! Of course, he did use this against Janemblis. You know, in the Fusion Reborn movie. Oh, yo, I just thought of something. Since we have that attack in the game, we'll be getting Z Super Gogeta. <laughs> I highly doubt it, but we'll just have to wait and see. All right, that's something to think about. <laughs> we have that literal attack from the Z filler movie, I guess, if that's what we want to call it, because it's not necessarily canon. But are we going to be witnessing Z Gogeta? And there's Dragon Fist. So real quick, let's just rewind. I do like how when the uh, dragon first appears, you know, he doesn't necessarily have that flamey texture, right? It's the original look. But when he zooms over to the opponent, he kind of, you know, powers up Super Saiyan, if you will, and summons that flamey aura. So that's attention to detail once again there. Yeah, so I think they respawn to the spawn points don't quote me on that because gohan did spawn up in the air so I, I don't know maybe they just spawn randomly throughout the map right but west city stage definitely one of the coolest ones um yeah and super Saiyan 3 goku is actually one of those characters with a slight revamp right super dragon twin fists an attack that wasn't in bt3 the attack that they did swap out was super explosive wave correct so, they're just changing more of the generic attacks, which is probably the best bet. Oh, so yeah, the video's about to end. He reverts to his base form here. Now let's move up to the super variation of Goku. Kept you waiting. Really do like that transition, how he just reverted in the previous clip and now transforming into the super counterpart. So do keep in mind that this is completely different from the Z Super Saiyan variation. Very unfortunate how we don't get to witness base Super Goku because he does have three different attacks. Dragon Burst, Super Spirit Bomb, you know how he ascends into Super Saiyan Blue and then Kaioken on top of that. And as well as all fired up for his Blast 1. However, we do get to witness all of the uh, transformations. So we do have all encompassing power, Dragon Blast, and Sonic Blasts for all the new attacks. Hopefully we get to see some of that here. Oh, Goten already went down. <laughs> and pay attention to his combo strings. Extremely fast paced. And there it is, all encompassing power with the four initial power ups. The facial animations go crazy. Oh, and back to back into the Dragon Blast. I know that's from the Terminator Power, I think. Somebody please correct me down below where it's actually from and who he used that attack against. Because I think it's from the Terminator Power. Uh, but we just whiffed the Sonic Blast, which is from the Battle of Gods movie. Going up against Beerus for the one time. But yeah, going back to the combo strings, Goku himself can't even keep up. He, he, he missed the downward snap vanish attack. How could he? All right, once again with sparking mode. Let's go, Goku. Focus up. Focus up. Vegeta's barely in his base form. You got this. Here it is. <laughs> and it's cool because in the movie, didn't he like absorb the god essence or something along those lines? So this is technically Super Saiyan God with, or no, Super Saiyan with God Key, <laughs> if you want to go in death. But one of the cooler animations in the game, if you ask me. And here we have the God Transformation. 
uh, directly from the DBS Broly movie. Now, of course, the outfit itself is from the movie as well. Uh, it's already been confirmed that we get to switch, you know, all the uh, different character costumes. So, if you want more of the Dragon Ball Super Goku without the belts, then we can do so. Not necessarily sure if it will, you know, change the skill set with that specific outfit, right? But maybe some of the other ones for sure. Like the Whis Gi outfit we'll go ahead and talk a little bit more about that later on when we go over super saiyan blue goku but as for god goku's skill set he's one of the more unique ones just because every single attack all five of them both both blast ones blast twos and the ultimate attack are brand new you know they're not being reused from any of the goku uh, counterparts from his base or super saiyan form uh no we have god bind shenron aura uh, God Bind right there, which stuns the opponent so you can follow up with any other attack that you want, pretty much. Shenron Aura is a power-up. I believe we get three different power boosts, if I'm remembering correctly, with an epic animation as well. God Kamehameha and uh, Gravity Bash. Whoa, that was strange. Vegeta just countered that. Oh, it's called God Impact. I, I know it as Gravity Bash, but that's totally fine and look at the aura itself you know super saiyan blue evolved vegeta and blue kaoken goku of course being blast one power-ups and after that we get that very cool aesthetic looking aura right but for god goku he has one for his stock form or his stock aura <laughs> look right there look how cool that is that's how top tier god goku is man don't downplay god goku with the god impact right there oh semi perfect cell does not stand a chance and yeah, the power boost activated about to achieve sparking mode. Yep. Unique dialogue whenever we do activate that. Oh, I'm assuming that into the ultimate. Uh, let's see. Yes, yes, we get to see the ultimate. So I really do like this animation just because of the energy wave right there enlarging. However, he does compress it down and then throws it out. I think it would have been cooler if he just kept on feeding energy into the blast, you know, keeps enlarging the Kamamaha and then shoots it out like that <laughs> and then we'll have this giant energy wave you know th that's just uh, you know wishful thinking there though I believe he does do this additional burst to increase the size of the energy wave if I'm remembering correctly so here we have the actual Super Saiyan of blue now we have two new super attacks uh, God Kamamaha, Instant Transmission, and Kao Ken, of course, are other supers that we've seen on the different variations of Goku. But for the two new ones, we have No Hard Feelings Hit, the rush attack that he used up against Gold and Fleza, and the ultimate being, what was it called? I think Limit Break God Kamamaha. So there's original God Kamamaha again that Super Saiyan God Goku has. And here it is, the rush. Yeah. Oh, whiff. Swing and a miss. Since the Whis outfit is confirmed, hopefully we get to see some different attack changes, right? Uh, for example, I want to see Super God Shock Flash, you know, the one inch punch he used up against Golden Frieza. And Kyle Ken times 10. So we do have original Kyle Ken here, but it's just, you know, uh, normal blue Kyle Ken. In the anime, uh, we first see that. Oh, there it is. Uh, but we first see Blue Kao Ken during the Tournament of Destroyers, right? With the Whiskey, and then he ascends into Kao Ken times 10. So what if that's an additional technique we get to see under the Whiskey outfit? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Ooh! Yeah, of course, when we do activate Kao Ken, we get to utilize all the different supers and ultimate attacks like we have here. Just increasing the damage tenfold. So another example for the outfit changes with the different supers. Uh, the anime Gogi, you know, the one without the belt. What if we get the Kaioken times 20? What are we waiting for? Blast one power up. Just because he did use that in the terminal power, and we all know we do have some terminal power attacks like uh, the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Spirit Bomb. He even ascends into Kaioken times 20, right? So could we see a Kaioken times 10 for that specific Go Belt or No Belt Gi outfit? Whatever you want to call it, I don't even know. Uh, so here we have old Tracing sign. This is uh, footage that we've all seen before. This is from the Bandai Namco livestream, I believe, over at Anime Expo 2024. Correct me down below if I'm wrong. 
But you are saying Goku and all his glory. I, I believe Maru Haki implemented it into this uh, video here. Just for we can get all the uh, Goku transformations, right? So something kind of cool. There we have the grab. And notice, you are assigning Goku with battle damage. Completely gone, his gi. And that's usually something we only see with MUI Goku. And that's it for today's video. But notice top right corner, something I've explained before. We have the complete gi for UI sign. So that's just, uh, you know, more about the customization. Uh, pretty epic video. Once again, massive thanks to Maru Haki. Uh, just witnessing all the different Goku gameplays. You know, doing s somewhat of a breakdown. Just going over some of the updates that they did. Some of the different uh, skill set changes. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. Thank you guys for the immense support as always. And I'll see you guys in the next Sparking Zero video. Peace!